Hello and welcome to Iskaria.com. My name is Dr. Heather Ali. With Iskaria.com, you can enjoy lectures everywhere, anytime and anywhere. Today, I'm going to talk about a very, very important topic. And that's how to patient manage a patient with chest pain. This is first part of this lecture. Let's go through the timeline. As an emergency physician or working in as an emergency department, you have to have a different approach as compared to the other doctors. Because why? Because you, you come across life-threatening problems while working in an emergency department. So in this lecture at the beginning, I will explain in a slide how to approach a patient with chest pain. What to do first? What to look for first? For example, airway, breathing, circulation. These three magical words are so important as an emergency physician that you need to have, you need to consider in every patient you see, whether it's of chest pain or some other disease. So prime emphasis in this lecture would be how to manage or how to approach a patient with chest pain. What to do first and what to do next and how to dig out the diagnosis within few minutes and what to do with this diagnosis and what to, how to treat that, that, that problem. Next would be red flags, the dangerous sign the patient can present with an emergency department. With these red flags that if you know them, you can act quickly and adequately to rule out and to treat the life-threatening problems. Red flags are very, very important, not just for chest pain, for every other diseases that can at times be dangerous or can be life-threatening. So the red flags are very, very important with the chest pain. What does it show? It shows many things. This patient needs adequate treatment. This patient needs prompt treatment as soon as possible. Forget, forget about how, what happened, how this thing happened. Treat the, the red flags first. Anatomic essentials, which includes the structures involving in the chest region, which includes heart, lungs, abdomen, and what are the life-threatening diseases that can happen in these three regions and how to treat these patients and how to approach such patients. Differential diagnosis of chest pain. There are many, as I told you, three are the most important structures in the line. Most importantly, chest, uh, heart, chest, lungs by itself, and abdomen. At times, can present to you with very life-threatening problems. So differential diagnosis is a key. So if you're dealing with a patient with a chest pain, Keep in mind the differential of life-threatening problems or differential diagnosis that you can have, in, that this patient can have and you need to treat it. So if life-threatening problems have been addressed adequately and promptly, you save the patient's life. And that's the job of an emergency physician. So you can enjoy more lectures, thousands of medical lectures on Ascaria.com. The good thing about Ascaria.com is you can enjoy lectures anywhere and anytime. Please do subscribe to Ascaria.com. Thank you for watching Ascaria.com.